Some of the best engineering minds in the country are right here in Southern California and Pasadena, in fact, and they're taking a break from space to design something that could save a lot of lives here on Earth. NBC4's Kim Baldonado reports from JPL in Pasadena. This all started with a casual conversation between two engineers in the cafeteria here at JPL. Five weeks later, they submitted the ventilator for FDA emergency approval. They are some of the brightest minds in the country. The scientists and engineers at NASA JPL in Pasadena build spacecraft, including the Curiosity rover, which is currently working on Mars. But when the COVID-19 pandemic created a shortage of life-saving ventilators, these aerospace experts knew they had to step up, even though that meant stepping out of their wheelhouse. I never would have thought I would be doing this. Roger Gibbs is the project manager for Vital, a ventilator designed specifically for COVID-19 patients. It could be made and maintained with readily available parts at one-tenth the cost of traditional ventilators and can be easily mass-produced. It's exciting, but it's exhausting. I think we all just want to do everything we can to try to help. Some work from home, while others work from the lab, while constantly collaborating online using WebEx. The biggest personal challenge is that I have myself is uh, I don't have time to sleep. We have the potential to save human lives, people that we might know, our neighbors, our families. And that intensity um, is amazing. Their ventilator was sent to doctors at Mount Sinai in New York for testing in its human simulation lab while the engineers watched online. During the testing, it was for me a white knuckle time. I was quite concerned because I would hear statements that, oh, that's not right. But in the end, the doctors gave it a thumbs up. The team is uh, elated, exhausted, happy, exhausted. The ventilator is designed to only be used for three to four months and can easily be modified for use in field hospitals during a crisis. The license will be given away for free to manufacturers. In Pasadena, Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News.